Welcome back to the news broadcast on 22 Hours Channel. First and foremost, 1. Ladies and gentlemen, recently, heavy rain has poured down on the central province of Henan and the city of Shanghai because of China's typhoon Tara, which broke the banks of many large rivers, flooding about 12 cities. According to Reuters, the streets of 12 cities in central China today were flooded with water, while many subway passengers had to wade through hip deep water at stations. Heavy rain fell on Hanan province, causing many large rivers to burst their banks, causing large amounts of water to rush to cities. Hanam, a densely populated province, has been hit by storms since the weekend. No casualties have been reported, but the daily life of the province of 94 million people has been seriously disrupted by traffic disruptions. In Zhengzhou, the capital of Hanan on the banks of the Yellow River, more than 200 millimeters of rain fell in an hour, forcing the city to stop all subway lines. Images on social media showed people wade through hip deep muddy floodwaters in a subway train, while underground stations become large lakes. Railway and aviation routes have been suspended or cancelled. In Ruzhou, a city southwest of Zhengzhou, streets turn into whirlpools, washing away cars and vehicles. In addition, the Wai River is rising, threatening to affect Longmen Grottoes, a UNESCO World Heritage Site with millennia-old Buddha statues carved into limestone cliffs near Luoying City. Like Longmen, the Shaolin Temple in Ningfang City, a temple famous for its martial arts, had to temporarily close its doors. Also in Ningfang, an aluminum alloy factory exploded today when water from a river flooded the factory. At least 31 medium and large reservoirs in Hanam province have exceeded the warning level. About 3,535 weather stations in Henan recorded rainfall exceeding 50 mm, of which 1,614 stations exceeded 100 mm and 151 stations exceeded 250 mm. The highest station in Lushan with 498 mm of rain. This is the heaviest rain I've seen since I was born, and it flooded many familiar places, a netizen in Gongyu City wrote on social media. Two. Floods destroy two hydroelectric dams in China Reuters quoted a statement by China's Ministry of Water Resources as saying that two hydroelectric dams in the city of Kulimbir had collapsed. These are two hydroelectric dams with reservoirs of about 46 million m3 of water. Video posted on Chinese social media shows one of the two dams being completely swept away by water, flooding nearby fields. People downstream have been evacuated and there are currently no reports of casualties. The cause of the two dams' failure was heavy rain over the weekend in the Hulimbir area. According to China's Ministry of Water Resources, the rainfall measured at the Morindawa Hydrological Station showed that the amount of rain was up to 223 mm. Hulimbir city government said the flood affected nearly 17,000 people and submerged about 23,600 hectares of crops. Bridges and other transport infrastructure were also damaged. China has more than 98,000 reservoirs for flood control, hydroelectric power, and navigation. More than 80% of them are over 40 years old. Some are at risk of unsafety. 3. Floods swept away houses and bridges. China lost 27 million us thousands of people in southwestern China had to be evacuated when severe floods swept away houses and bridges, causing tens of millions of dollars in damage. SCMP reported that floods in southwestern China have caused thousands of deaths. Thousands of people had to be evacuated after several days of continuous heavy rain. The government warned that flooding may continue in the near future. In Sichuan province, rain has raised water levels in 14 rivers, affecting the lives of 120,000 people and causing an estimated $27 million in damage. Heavy rains since early July have swept away hundreds of houses, roads and bridges and caused landslides in some areas of China. In Deso in northern Sichuan, Authorities evacuated more than 4,600 people because of floods and landslides, and activated the highest level of alert for flooding. China has been on high alert since severe flooding hit the country at the start of this year's flood season. They held flood response and rescue drills in February, ahead of the rainy season. Last year, the East Asian country witnessed its worst floods in decades, affecting tens of millions of people in many provinces and causing economic losses of 13.7 billion US dollars. The government warned that this year's rainfall could be even higher than last year. Since June, China's Ministry of Water Resources has called for efforts to prevent flooding and prepare for heavy rains that could last until August. According to the agency, the Yellow River is currently in a critical flood control phase, with parts of the river basin likely to receive 20-50% to more total rainfall than average. 
The flood control system in the Yellow River Basin is still incomplete and the dams still have weak interconnected networks, preventing floods in small and medium rivers faces many difficulties. While the officials and the public lack practical flood fighting experience, said a statement from the Ministry of Water Resources. In Hansao, Shanxi, Chinese state media published pictures of vehicles on flooded streets. The city of Jinxing, also in Shanxi province, raised its rain warning to red, the highest level. In Hebei province bordering Beijing, heavy rain and thunderstorms temporarily prevented planes from taking off and landing at the airport in Shijiazhuang, the provincial capital. 4. China in the flood season, the Three Gorges Dam discharges nearly 20 billion m3 of water prolonged heavy rains cause water levels in many rivers in central and southern China to rise to alarming levels, putting pressure on dam systems as the flood season began. Global Times reported. The water level in China's Three Gorges Dam has dropped to 149.4 meters as of 2 p.m. This largest dam in China has released more than 19.6 billion m3 of water, or about 90% of the water level in the dam. For standardization. For the flood season, heavy rains in parts of southern China since May caused water levels in the middle and lower Yangtze River to rise sharply. River levels in cities like Wuhan are at an alarming rate. China has entered the main flood season since June. Sinhu reported that water levels in 71 rivers in the country had exceeded warning levels. The water level in the Bayan River, also known as the Kidney of the Yangtze River, has reached 18 meters, approaching the flood warning level of 19 meters a month earlier than previous years, the Chinese Academy of Sciences said. State media, citing information from China's Ministry of Water Resources, also forecast that the water level in the Xiangjiang River, the main tributary of the Yangtze River that flows through Hunan province and four other rivers in Jiangxi, Fujian and Jiangxi regions, Zhuang Autonomous Region in Guangxi may exceed warning levels. Chinese officials warned that major floods could occur in many places, especially in the central and southern part of the country between April and August. Earlier this week, Guangdong province issued a level 4 emergency flood response. According to 12 local monitoring stations, the average rainfall in Guangdong is more than 215. 5. 71 rivers exceed alarming levels. China holds its breath to deal with large floods. China is preparing to face a major flood season as 71 rivers in the country have exceeded warning levels. Sinhu reported that China is preparing for a major flood season when 71 rivers have exceeded warning levels. This information comes as authorities warn that global warming will make the weather more severe. Rain in some areas of central and southern China has hit record highs in recent weeks, although total rainfall this year is about 10% lower than last year. Water levels in the Yangtze River and its tributaries are expected to continue to rise next week. Chinese authorities also warned of impending major floods across the country from June to August. Some monitoring stations have issued flood warnings. The stretch of the Yangtze River in Wuhan City, central China is recording two meters higher than usual due to heavy rain upstream. Last summer, China recorded its second highest rainfall since 1961, triggering flood warnings on major rivers and lakes, bringing water levels at the giant Three Gorges Dam near dangerous levels. During last year, China recorded nationwide rainfall at nearly 700 mm, 10.3% higher than average and 7.6% increase compared to 2021. Rainfall recorded doubled. In some regions of central and northeastern China, Jia Zhaolong, deputy director of the China National Meteorological Center, told reporters in late April that global warming made China increasingly vulnerable to extreme weather, including heat, as well as floods. Six. The amount of water poured into a record, the Three Gorges Dam opened 11 floodgates. Three Gorges Dam in Hubei, China has opened 11 floodgates as flood water flows into the dam have reached a high not seen in many years. Nikkei reported that cities along the Yangtze River capital already suffered billions of dollars in flood damage continue to prepare for a new challenge as water levels at the Three Gorges Dam are expected to peak at 165 meters tomorrow. The water level continued to rise in the middle section of the Yangtze River. The flow of water into the reservoir of the Three Gorges Dam rose to 75,000 cubic meters slash s, a record high since 2003. According to China Daily, this figure is predicted to continue to rise to 76,000 cubic meters slash s in the hours. Next. Meanwhile, the water flow out of the Three Gorges Dam reached 49,000 cubic meters slash s, an unprecedented high. To prevent the water level at the Three Gorges Dam from continuing to rise, China yesterday opened one more floodgate at the construction site, bringing the total number of openings to 11.
The Three Gorges Dam, a 175-meter all project in Hubei, was completed in May 2006, providing electricity to major Chinese cities and provinces including Shanghai, Anhui and Guangdong. During a July 20 visit to Dongnan, Chongqing and areas seriously affected by floods due to its proximity to the Yangtze River tributary, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang said the government would urgently supporting flood-affected people, improving monitoring of flood prevention works and promoting economic recovery. Chongqing, a city located on the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, faced one of the worst floods since 1971. Due to continued heavy rain, over the past week, water levels in 51 rivers have exceeded warning thresholds. We would like to extend our greeting and well wishes to all our loyal listeners who have always accompanied 